okay welcome back to my channel i greet you all in the name of the lord jesus christ so good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are watching me from may the lord bless you so this evening i want to discuss why adultery is on the increase in marriage in marriages now we have the ones that the, the, the husbands engage or cause, and we have the other ones that comes from the wives or the female folks. Okay, let me start with the husband. It's not wrong if somebody says, I want to support whatever you are doing, your marriage with the sum of $1 million, with some of $10 million or whatever. It's not wrong, you can accept that. Now, it's not even wrong for you to set up a committee Call them committee your friends that will attend to you know logistics and what have you help you out in arrangement and then the whole settings of the events that will unfold on your wedding day or the traditional marriage day which of ever event you are hosting but what i find very uninteresting here is the fact that most people now go about asking people to pay money contribute for them so that they will get married please this thing is not by force when you want to marry is on your soul will that you chose to marry there was nobody there to compel you and you were never in any agreement or under pressure to go into marriage now if that actually is your own case that means you are not even worthy of being married because you shouldn't be pressurized into it if you believe in what you are doing. So you should be able to carry it out based on your own capacity. Now, somebody comes to contribute money and pay for the diary of your wife. Buy one thing or the other. The person already is a stakeholder. And then tomorrow the person comes out and says, okay, I'm interested in your wife. He looks um, very appealing to me. What do you say? The devil is using that. Is a, is a kind of a channel through which the devil is using to lure people actually to lust after that same woman and you ask them to contribute money for you to marry because they have their own contributions a little wonder you hear people saying ah my friend my best friend who i trusted so much who i believed in so much i had so much faith in my my, my, my best man all of a sudden I, I saw him making out with my wife and then most agonizingly on your matrimonial bed then what do you expect they contributed money. So they are coming to take their own share. D demons are actually opening up channels for them to operate. And because obviously the flesh is weak and they had to yield to it. But I tell you, this is part of the reasons why adultery is on the increase in, mar in marriages of today. And then on the other aspect, the aspect of the female, you have your role. You don't come and uh, probably squeeze the man into getting married to you. Because if he does, because he was compelled, probably uh, being scared of the threat you pose, or maybe the fact that, ah, you are not mounting pressure, let it not be that your people will come after him and all that. That's every tendency. Tomorrow, he follows his heart to wherever his heart is leading him to. And with that, he's already committing adultery. And you are there crying. Some of you, you are so comfortable dating married men, sleeping with them. And tomorrow, demons will go and pick that. It's kind of going, flipping through and, uh, and flipping back to your own judgment. The judgment you met to another person. Demons will bring it up. Devil is so crafty that he will send his agent. They are going to dig it up and then seek weak vessels again that they are going to push to your husband and then those vessels will succumb because they don't know of the power or the forces that are pushing them the next thing you are crying your home is broken and then adultery on the increase it's not everything that happens in your home if your husband has so much money to god be the glory keep it to yourself you want to do charity you do charity you don't go out making show of the wealth of your husband I bet you other women will come for that world and it takes only a man who is highly principled 
and who obeys God not to fall. If not, he too will fall to the lure or the cravings of these other women that will always throw themselves at him. So be careful. It's a call for us all to be careful. Everybody has a role to play here. Nobody is saying anybody is sent or should be crucified. Well, please, let us do the things that we need to do. Seek the biblical directions on how to go about everything, including marriage. I have never heard in any place in the scriptures that someone was meant to borrow to get married or that someone was so boastful about the husband's wealth after marriage. So be careful. May the Lord bless us and don't fail to subscribe to my channel. It's still Maxi Joe. Do well as you keep following the updates you keep bringing in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.